What's up guys welcome back to another video so nothing is rolling out a new update for nothing phone one wherein nothing os version is 1.1.4 the update size is around 135 mb so in this video let's go through all the changes what nothing have done for nothing phone one so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we have a nothing phone one i've already updated the device to the latest build let me show you the software information so here you can see nothing os version is now 1.1.4 which comes with 1st September 2022 security patch. The update was quite small, but there are a lot of changes and bug fixes have been done. And before talking about the bug fixes, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now let me show you all the changes, what nothing have done with this newer update. So here you can see we have a huge list of change logs which include some new features, camera improvements, system improvements and later some bug fixes. So guys when we talk about the camera improvements so there are a lot of improvements done i wasn't able to click much of photos we do have a nothing phone one group i'll leave that group in the description below you guys can join there wherein i'll share the camera samples tomorrow in that group so make sure to join and you guys also share your feedback about this newer update so first change what they have done is now they have also added the option to flip the three button navigation so let me show you if you go to settings system gestures and if you go to system navigation tapping on three button navigation if you go to the settings here now you can switch the buttons layout this option wasn't present on the previous build you guys can take a look at the screenshot which is towards your right side taken on the previous build later they also added year one app features directly into the system though i don't have those headphones that's the reason i'm not able to find any settings of that but if you have those headphones you'll get the year one customization settings in the quick setting tiles or in the settings page now which will also have the support of high definition audio so right now you can see i'm using my samsung buds live and on these buds i don't have the support of high definition audio but if you have nothing year one then you'll get the support of high definition audio now talking about the camera so camera app have been upgraded now the newer build of camera app is 12.0.0.1 with this new update of camera app, they have also added the option of watermark, which wasn't present on the previous build. So if you click any photos, you'll get the time watermark and the model watermark. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see. Here you can see towards the left hand side. Now it says nothing and the bottom side, it also shows the timing. So this is one functionality what they have added now. After that, they have improved the ultra wide camera color correction and increased color consistency between main and ultra wide sensor. So guys, here are some of the samples which I clicked before and after updating the device. I personally did not find much of improvements in the low light condition, but as said, I'll be putting up more photos tomorrow on a telegram group related to camera and in good lighting condition, we might get to see better results. So stay tuned for that. And I'll also be posting an in-depth review in which I'll include stuff like battery backup, camera performance, charging speed, and other stuff. Then they have increased the shooting speed when using HDR in ultra wide. Here also, I personally did not find any kind of major improvements compared to the previous build. Now talking about the system improvements, so here they have updated the security patch to 1st September 2022. They have also improved the battery consumption. So battery consumption, we won't get better idea right now until we use the device for almost 2-3 cycles. Then we'll get a fair idea. So as said, I'll be using this device as my primary phone and I'll update you guys about the battery consumption with and without always on display. Later they have improved thermals that also we cannot find out so soon. I have to use the device for 2-3 days to get a better idea about the thermals. After that, they also say they have made some changes in in the update section and finally nothing have improved the face unlock on previous builds if you guys have seen my review videos with my shaved head i was not able to register my face but now on this build i did try out registering my face and it works perfectly fine i did not see any kind of issues unlocking also and talking about fingerprint unlock that is also working fine on this build till now no delays to be seen while unlocking the device so here good job nothing Talking about bug fixes, so they say they have fixed the issue of that network. So if you guys are aware, I had mentioned in my review videos, the network used to disappear. So here you can see I have a screenshot also, but till now after the update, I did not find any kind of network drop issues. So hopefully this thing is fixed now. And later some issues related to the incoming calls, though I personally never face this issue of seeing unknown contact on the screen whenever I'm getting a call. And guys, before updating, remember one thing, 
few users have reported that now after this update chrome application doesn't run in 120 fps though i have personally tested i don't find any kind of issues my device still maintains 120 fps in the chrome application but in a telegram group few users have reported that they are only getting 60 fps in apps like chrome if you check out the twitter also for me there are no issues but as said some users are facing this issue so keep this thing in mind before updating your device so guys these are some of the changes what nothing have done with the newer update of nothing os as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day